How do we do multicolor 3D printing on a single color 3D printer? Let's throw out the rules and say, screw the algorithm. This is multicolor printing on a single color printer as fast as possible. For this, we're gonna be using Orca Slicer. If you don't already have Orca Slicer and already have your printer set up, that's a completely different video. By default, with a single color 3D printer, Orca Slicer won't let you add any more than one filament. To fix this, go to your printer setting and then under your material tab, enable single extruder multi-material. Save your printer settings and now you can add as many filaments as you want. But just because you can add as many filaments as you want doesn't mean you're ready to print. Go back to your printer settings and under the tab machine g-code, we need to scroll down until we find the change filament g-code. Now, here we have a few different options and it really depends on your printer. If you're using something like Marlin, you're gonna to wanna to look up the pause or color change g-code. Or if you're using Clipper, you have the M600 option, but the most universally accepted is simply pause. We're gonna type in pause in all caps and then save our settings. Using this file as an example, I wanna print the main body in black with the text in white. Selecting the object, we can go to color painting and then select the fill tool. We'll select the filament that we want to fill with and then select the text to make it white. Keep in mind, this is not a tutorial on the color painting tool and I'm sure you'll figure it out. Now that our file is mostly black with our text set in white, we can go ahead and slice the file and send it off to our printer. Now the printer is just going to start doing its job and at this point, all we need to do is wait for the color change or the pause. Once we get to the point where our printer is ready to do the filament change, it's gonna do exactly what we told it to do in the filament change G-code, which in this case is to pause the print. If everything's working correctly, your tool head should home itself and wait for manual input. Now we need to snip our filament and then find the load filament setting for our 3D printer. For most printers, this is incredibly easy. On the Adventure 5M, all we need to do is go to the filament management page and hit load. And at this point, we're gonna pay attention until it starts passing the old filament through the nozzle and then manually load our new filament into the extruder. Once this is done, simply grab the filament that's been extruded from the nozzle and throw it away. At this point, you can safely hit resume. Keep in mind, the amount of babysitting that you need to do for your 3D printer depends heavily on the color arrangement you've set up for your print in your slicing software. After all, with great power comes massive amounts of frustration and regret. And just like that, after a few manual filament changes, we have our multi-material print printed on our single color 3D printer. Use it wisely and use it sparingly. Babysitting a 3D printer is not the most exciting thing. 